Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So, you're manifesting. We have manifestation. What is manifestation? It's when we really kind of focus on what we want to bring change into our lives for so we want to turn something negative to positive an idea into reality turn base metal into gold this is the card of alchemy but fully appreciating that we all have the resources the talent the know-how to manifest something when we really focus let's see what we have for you let's pull you an angel answer message what do we have for our lovely Leos for the week. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, so we've got there's something better. Let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. What do we have for Leo for the week? Angels, Spirits Guides, week ahead for Leo. Week ahead for Leo. Thank you. We have the High Priestess trusting your instinct and your intuition. It's a powerful energy. You just know. You know intuitively, you know, uh, how you feel about a situation. You understand intuitively other people's intentions. You understand intuitively what you must do, how you must act, how you read the situation. This is all being governed by your instinct and your intuition. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, Page of Pentacles, wow, Knight of Pentacles, two Knights bring change, Temperance, We have the Two of Wands, and we have the Hermit. Hmm. So Leo, really clear energy. I think that you're going to be in demand. When you manifest, I think that you're going to be a little bit surprised here because the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, these can represent two opportunities. You know, Knight of Wands can be exciting, something connected to our heart and soul. It's fire energy. It's our passion. It's our desire, you know. Uh, we, you would likely feel an affinity with this kind of Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands brings in offers and opportunities. Uh, very good in terms of business, career, financial aspects. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles can also be opportunity knocking. Uh, this is more practical, more down to earth, more grounded, more sensible, but clearly abundant as well. So you're going to be choosing between two opportunities, one that's going to be sensible and one that really has you all fired up. But I think that I like seeing this energy, you know, because, you know, you'll be really tempted. But I do, I do, I like seeing this kind of energy here, Leo, in terms of, how you're choosing between the two remember temperance you, uh, the thing that i'm focusing on with temperance temperance is a very moderate energy it's a very balanced energy um where you're going to be very tempted to go down the kind of fire route here because you will be you know um i think that you're kind of putting on your sensible hat as well and kind of reining those passions and action orientated energy and assertive energy in to make the right decision for you in terms of how you take the reins and move forward. You're, you're leaving something behind here. You're likely moving on from, you know, uh, a situation that you're ready to move on from. Um, and I think that you're, you're kind of tempering how you charge ahead. Uh, you're tempering in terms of where you see... Um, success lying for you. I mean, the chariot is a card of success, victory, triumph. 
you're going to be very successful this week, but I think it's almost like too successful. It's like you're going to have more than one opportunity to choose from. And, you know, this per- the, the, the temperate energy is quite a cautious energy. Um, you can see this is about really figuring out what the right kind of opportunity to go for is. Choosing either, you know, as, as this kind of, um, you know, angel is kind of, you know, blending the two cups, you know, what's in the two cups. I just see that as two opportunities as well, but being very moderate in your approach in terms of how you're deciding to move forward here. Just very cautiously, not charging ahead, but being very cautious in terms of what the right direction is for you. You could be having some alone time to think. Uh, the hermit would always give you that kind of advice. Really go within, think, connect to your inner truth. Let your experience be your guide in how in truth you really should move forward. And source, and source here as well, um, will help light the path for you in terms of how you move forward. The hermit can also be somebody giving you sage counsel. So if you're really stuck in terms of how to move forward, I mean, you're going to choose between these two opportunities, but <laughs> they both look very good, Leo. Um, I think that you might be even seeking counsel from somebody who will give you sage advice. You know, the hermit can be a sage. The Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, yeah. The Page of Pentacles is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, planting new seeds, moving in a particular direction here, uh, with the Two of Wands making some significant choice or decision. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? It's a choice between two paths, two opportunities, two options. But the world is in your hand, and this is about making the right choice for you at some kind of crossroads. There is something better here, Leo, but I think that you're going <laughs> to, I think that you, um, when you start kind of promoting yourself, you might be doing that this week, or you might have been doing that. You might be surprised in terms of what's available to you. And I do think that there are opportunities being presented to you and you have to decide, do I go this way? Is that opportunity right for me? Is this opportunity right for me? Or actually, do I stay where I am for now? You know, so, I mean, the choice is yours in terms of, of how you move forward here. And that's what I'm seeing. You, you're you going to have a strong intuitive energy. There could also be somebody giving you advice. But I certainly feel here, opportunity is knocking certainly this week for you uh, because I think you've been manifesting it. So let's see what we have for you as a message from Spirit. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the week? Thank you, that flew out. We have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors could be advice for you like i said the hermit can be reflective energy so it might well be that that's what you need to do you might need to take a little time out to think to not rush into something but to actually think in terms of what's right for you and then take the appropriate action accordingly or inaction should you choose not to do anything that's what i have for you leo for the week i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did Please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.